In Altium Designer, the Variant Management menu is used to create and configure project variants. But sometimes it can be more convenient to control component variants directly from the schematic sheets. To do this, we will need to switch to the Variant tab at the bottom left of the schematic sheet. Selecting the Variant tab will enable the Variant Active menu. The Variant tools will become available as soon as we create and select the project variants. Using the Variant Management menu, let's create two blank variants, V01 and V02. Next, select OK to save the variants and exit the menu. In the Projects panel, select a variant that we would like to change. After selecting a variant, we will now have access to tools for managing variant components directly from the schematic sheet. We can now change visible parameters of any variant component by selecting and editing them in the Parameter Variation pop-up window. When using this method, do not forget to change all dependent parameters of the component to obtain correct output documentation. The rest of the parameters can be changed in the Variant Management menu by using the Edit Component Variation from the Active menu and adjust the parameters of the selected components. It is also possible to change parameters of a group of components by selecting them and using the Part Actions Variance option from the right mouse button context menu. It is also possible to change components to fitted or not fitted by selecting the toggle option from the active menu. Now let's switch to the second variant from the projects panel and for this variant we will select an alternate part, in this case for resistor R4, and replace it with a different part from the component library. It is worth noting that the assigned alternative components are saved in a special system generated file with a file extension PRJ PCB variants. This is done in order to be able to use the project without reference to the libraries from which the components were placed. There are times when an alternative component is changed in the library. For example, its parameters may have been edited and this will mean the schematic variants will now need to be updated. Let's use the Edit Component Variation option from the Active menu to open the Variant Management menu. To update parameters for the selected component, Use the right mouse button context menu and choose Update Values from Library. From the Browse Libraries pop-up window, we will need to select the updated component. And then from the next pop-up window, we can also select individual parameters for updating. Note, this method affects only the parameters of the component of this variant and does not update the file where the alternative components are stored. Therefore, these parameter changes can be reset through the context menu. Schematic variants with alternate parts can also be updated from the Update from Libraries menu. In this window, enable the Include Variants checkbox option to see alternate components. These can then be selected and updated. This method will update the component in the schematic and variants, as well as in the project variant file for storing information for alternative components. If we now reset the component parameters in the Variant Management menu, the component will have the value updated in the library. 